settling between SoCal. We have actually these two team together pretty often. Mac D from Flash Tournaments and Fiction. So these two know each other extremely well. This should probably be a uh, a winner semis match at a at a Super Smash Sundays. Uh, so a big shout out to both Super Arcade, <laughs> Alex Valle, and right. Level Up Live, of course, for supporting the scene. Watson, we love you for what you've done for us. And IE Battlegrounds, I believe yes. sometimes they stream as well. well. Yeah. But you know, this is nothing new, but only one can make it into the top eight. And well, if they make it in, they're making them the making a loser side, so so here we have it, Fiction versus Mackie. Like you said, these guys are no stranger to facing against each other in tournament. And after this, guys, you're going to have doubles top eight. Yep. That bracket ends tonight. Hmm. As we go to Yoshi's story, since we're ready for the So like, we always talk about this matchup, the box pitch matchup. We've seen a lot of it in the past recent years. Of course, with uh, Armada going through a lot of people, but MACD is a page of a very, very different style. Yeah. He's very odd, I want to say. Okay. Uh, he doesn't always go for it for the most what the most conventional option. Yeah. But he goes for things that makes them work, and it shows how good he is as a player. Yeah. Some players, you know, they they play by their own rules, and they still have great results. And MACD, like you said, is one of those players. Um, I remember back then there was a running joke that MACD only had a few moves, like dash attack, down smash. He was the Pokemon of Peaches. <laughs> he was the Pokemon of Peaches, absolutely. Oh, man. Well, you know, when we talk about fiction, this is a guy that's made the transition from Brawl, Brawl to Melee. Exactly. Solid Mark Warrior went main. Yeah, and he's just made that seamless. Uh, he's already become top five in SoCal with Google for short. And you know it's funny, to be quite honest, when they showed Fiction on stream, I was like, whoa, is that really the Wario Fiction? I was like, it probably can't be true, because I've never seen players make that transition so smoothly. Yet. But you know what? You know, there are very few, you know. Yeah. There are people who left, came back, and I'm smashing Fiction, but he's one guy that has just been phenomenal since his return. And everyone has said that they expect him to be the breakout player of 2017. Eighth place at Apex, certainly like, sure of that. Nice stuff so far, putting on the pressure on MACD, and look at that. MACD tries to inch forward, and he meets him with an up smash to the chin. And MACD now trying to press him. Oh, no opportunity right there, but he is getting good damage. Yep. Precision with those illusions to take ledge. Nice back air still, edge guard. Nice, repositions himself. Actually like that decision instead yep. of trying to, you he know, fight himself. Yeah, instead of trying to take a trade with Peach's aerials or anything like that. Nice back air. I really like his movement with Fox. It looks so smooth, dude. The key is just... It's no surprise that with the patience and solid mix-up game that's required in Brawl, that he would be a phenom melee. Nice pressure. Oh, he messes up, and good stuff for getting out of there because he pressed down and B. And Pulling if, down? Yeah. Not something you want to do against Peach, nah, especially with all. that down smash. Probably would have gotten at least 60%, maybe? Oh. With pressure, then he disengages the from the platform. Wow, MACD just one step ahead with that future sight. He's looking for the uh, aerial approach, and of course, you know, Peach's hand does have invincibility there, so. Ooh, nice Mac down smash, D. and that's going to be it. That was a good attempt, but it looks like Fiction was patient enough to just wait it out, see what he does, and MACD just. You know, he drew his hand a little too soon, showed yeah. his cards. But, you know, these two are teammates, and it looks like there might be a little bit of a singles rivalry as well. All right, here we go. We're on Final Destination. Great stage for Peach to set up some uh, chain grabs. Of course. Really, really solid fadeaway four there. I like that fight. Um, fiction opting for the grab after the drill yeah. because if he probably went for the shine and uh, MACD DI'd from it, he would have probably ate a lot of damage from a crotch cancel down smash. Gorgeous DI from that turn up from, uh, from Fiction, but even before that, just a great mix up from MACD. After the down tilt, he went for a forward air, then moved ever so slightly so he could sort of reverse hitbox. Lovely up smash right there by Fiction, tying it at three stocks apiece here in the second game on Final Destination. 
Oh, wow, smacking him out of his dare. Never seen that one. Oh, blip, blip. Oh, it looked like... I thought he went for it, but yeah. did not. He second-guessed himself. I like the lasers by Fiction. Definitely playing a little safe. But now, here we go. This is what you want to avoid. Good stuff. MACD tacking on a little damage with the uh, pummels. With pummels, yeah. Nice. Fantastic spacing from him there. Oh, don't know if he'll reach him. But he <laughs> falls right into MACD's loving arms. And wow. wow. Fiction. Okay, there we go. MACD closes out and he got really, really lucky there. He didn't uh, tack on too much extra percent. That's right. Showing that Baby still has back, apparently. Nice fair. And you know, I like the uh, the distance that Mackie's trying to stay. He's really, really cognizant of how Fiction wants to approach. This is probably curtains for him on this dock as it is. <laughs> as he fades away into the sunset. <laughs> But I actually like it from MACD. You saw him shake his head there. He took the time to think a bit more. He knew he was going to be KO'd, but just little moments like that where he has a couple of seconds to think himself. Yeah, recollect and adapt. Mm -hmm. True. Think about what he did wrong that last set. That last stock, rather. Nice up throw. Good DI by MACD. Another opportunity. Still. Nice mix up. Wow. Nice power shield. Oh, MACD. That second down smash could have actually been fatal for him. Nice. It's yeah, that's one of the toughest things about this matchup. If a fox does get a drill, it's actually relatively easier to wave shine up smash peach than most other characters. You cast right. You know, and I love these quick float air uh float areas from back to of course. It's basic peach stuff, but it's such precision. Oh gorgeous reads. Oh no escape. And no DI from fiction. I'm quite surprised from that one. Yes. All right. Well, yeah, good these stuff. matches are all coming down to the wire. To the Everyone wire. wants to make it to the top three. Only one can. Only one can win. Good stuff by MACD. Puts himself in a good position. Trying to hold down center stage. Nice tech chase. Ah, oh, misses it that time. And now it's Fiction's turn to play. Yeah, but MACD already has a pretty healthy lead. Not anymore. It's been evened up. That kept oh. issues with Battlefield. Oh. I love that move choice from Fiction, but he ended up in a bad way because of it. Uh, MACD dropped right there. Wow. Definitely was a kind of uh, oh, wow. lowercase there. He couldn't capitalize on a fantastic opportunity. Nice grab there. Good tech chase. Tosses the turner, but Fiction ever so fast with Fox. Oh my goodness, off stage. Yep. Scratches his head, taps his leg twice, and he's back in there. And you see how quickly he actually made the center stage again? So crazy. Oh, interception. No. Nice recovering high. Yeah, MACD kind of hesitated really quickly for a second. Oh, my goodness. I love that for MACD. He probably was just, one, able to trade stocks and thinking about it as they both fuck themselves and try and take the most out of their invincibility frames. But not just that, but he also was probably anticipating the Firefox to maybe even save that stock for him. Really good move from him. Cognizant and situational awareness from him is definitely on point tonight. I really like what Fiction's doing a lot too. Um, he's going for full jumps for every time he's near MACD, trying to see if maybe he'll try to toss out an attack too soon, which he could meet with him with a, a back air. A quick back air that might end up in a knockdown, allowing, you know, Fiction to set up some kind of offense, maybe definitely. even a tech chase situation. Yes, sir. Now he's forced to recover high. Oh, power slurs. Yeah. Fiction. fiction. He's trying to get in the game. He's but it's, it's looking very, very grim for him right now. now MACD, of course, is Peach. Oh, wow. All right, so MACD over 100%. It's a slow get up from the ledge, and Fox can do that on reaction every time. But like I was saying wow. before, it's, it's so difficult to come from behind, especially against Peach. Because Peach loves those battles of attrition. Trades usually work out for Peach. Oh my goodness, this looks so scary. But every time Fiction is trying to knock MACD off stage, MACD is just meeting him with an air. But Fiction is doing a fantastic job. Wow. He took on 30% and basically has even this one up. 
This is anyone's game. Will we see an upset here? I don't know if it's an upset for either player, because these two are certainly in equals. Uh, Mac D has reclaimed that 30% lead, but what can Fiction do here? Oh, 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 oh smash the idea was crucial. That probably would have been all she wrote. This is looking really scary. And we are scary. tied, basically. Yep. Tight battle. Fiction sticking to his top platform. Oh, that yeah. was his opening. Oh, fantastic Max DI. is living. Fantastic DI. Nairs him off stage, but Magdi's still alive. Oh, that looked pretty scary right here. And Fiction is off stage. Good stuff. Good recovery. Back airs Magdi off stage. King of the Hill right now. And Mac D comes with the fair earlier. We saw. Oh, oh my no, goodness. that was definitely a shine. Both players have the heebie jeebies right now. Wow. Nice. And, oh, oh, and there, no Max D is alive. Not yet, guys. Don't Guns speak float. too soon. And there's the air dodge. That forward smash. Good stuff. Good Only stuff. Only one could win. Fiction is still alive. He's in the game. Poor Max D. I could have definitely gone for either, either player. Yeah, either way. It's a SoCal chant for both players because they certainly have done a ton. Uh, but that being said, uh, that's it for today. We have our top eight. Tune in tomorrow to see what happens with our heroes and villains. Because we are going to continue with more melee action. Actually, the gentleman you just saw get ninth place, Matt D, will be joining D1 on commentary. But of course, thank you all for tuning in here on Clash Tournaments here on Twitch.tv.